Good morning and welcome to St. Margaret's on this first Sunday of Advent. We hope that this will be the last pre-recorded service we'll be having for some time, as we hope next week to be able to be meeting once again here in church. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, to, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. spent the day is at hand let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light blessed are you sovereign lord god of our ancestors to you be praise and glory forever you called the patriarchs to live by the light of faith and to journey in the hope of your promised fulfilment. May we be obedient to your call and be ready and watchful to receive your Christ, a lamp to our feet and a light to our path, for you are our light and our salvation. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. When the Lord comes, he will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness, and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Therefore, in the light of Christ, let us confess our sins. Father eternal, eternal giver, giver of light and grace, we, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault. You have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life, in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility that on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal, through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days, after that suffering, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from heaven, and the powers in the, in the heavens will be shaken. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in clouds, with great power and glory. Then he will send out the angels, and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven. From the fig tree learn its lesson. As soon as its branch becomes tender and puts forth its leaves, you know that summer is near. So also, when you see these things taking place, you know that he is near, at the very gates. Truly I tell you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But about that day or hour no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Beware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey, when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to be on the watch. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening or at midnight, or at cockcrow or at dawn or else he may find you asleep when he comes suddenly. And what I say to you, I say to all, keep awake. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you O Christ. Christ. Be prepared is, I think, a motto from most of the uniformed organisations. Be prepared, get ready. And that is the watchword for Advent Sunday. Be prepared, get ready, for you never know when the time might come. Well, 2020 has been a year where I have tried to get prepared. I was getting prepared for a holiday with Philip. I was losing weight, I was getting fit, I was getting beach ready, and that was cancelled. And so I started to eat cake. I was getting prepared for a baptism for my niece's baby. I bought gadgets and things that I needed for the amazing sermon I was going to preach in her church and that was cancelled. I bought a dress for her wedding that should have been on the 21st of November. I was prepared for it and now the wedding isn't happening, hasn't happened, and I had to send the dress back. Being prepared this year has not gone down very well for me. And so we come to Advent Sunday where again, I am going to say to you and to myself, Advent is about being prepared. Being prepared for the coming of Christ into the world to change it for the better. Now the thing is we've done Advent over and over and we understand and we get when the vicar says it's a time to be mournful and sad, it's not time to be joyful, we shouldn't be singing Christmas carols, we shouldn't be putting our decorations up too soon, we shouldn't have a Christmas tree in our house because it's all about getting ready, it's all about being prepared and yet something about this year means that the things that we have been preparing for have let us down. Christmas cannot be something that will let us down. And so I put my tree up two weeks ago. Yes, I know every time you put a Christmas tree up before the beginning of December, a baby reindeer dies. Well, that's sad. But my tree has given me joy for 14 days. I'm preparing for Christmas. 
for me, is not going to be a letdown, no matter what the Prime Minister says. It might not look like it has done every single year since we were children. And for some people, that is a blessing in disguise, not being allowed to have all of your relatives in your house under the same roof for a Christmas meal. But I am still prepared to have a good time when Christmas comes. Because Christmas, as I think most people are understanding this year, is much more than trees and stockings and food and presents and songs and music and films. It's much more than that. And even people who don't particularly celebrate Christmas for the religious reasons and don't particularly buy into this incarnation and baby Jesus stuff, even friends of mine who aren't religious are talking about being prepared for Christmas in a different way that is more meaningful and poignant because Christmas is coming whether we like it or not. Holidays get postponed, weddings get cancelled, babies can be baptised later, teeth can be repaired on another day, hair can be cut afterwards. Christmas is going to happen on the 25th of December, no matter what we do with it and what the world does about it. Because it's not just presence. It's a story, a true story of a girl who said yes, of a man who was brave, of a journey that was long and tedious and tiring to a place that was a hovel, that was rancid, cold and dirty, to a baby that was born to a virgin because she said yes to do God's will. And with all the restrictions that that girl faced, her age, she wasn't married, she lived at the wrong time, in the wrong country, all of those restrictions didn't matter because the baby was born and she said yes. And all the preparations that we make do not go to waste because Christmas is coming. Mary said yes and the baby was born who changed the world. Happy Advent. And if you haven't put your Christmas tree up yet, do it this afternoon. Amen. Let us declare our faith in God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord God, in your hands are all times and seasons. Hear us as we pray in faith for the coming of your kingdom of peace and righteousness. Purify and renew the church in the spirit of holiness, truth and love. We pray for Paul, our Bishop, and Bev, Bishop of Warrington, and for all your clergy and people. Deliver us from all compromise, pride and hardness of heart, that we may be a people prepared for the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. You anointed your Son to bring release to captives and to give liberty to the oppressed. May the people and nations of the earth live together in peace, freedom and righteousness. Give wisdom to all who hold positions of power, that they may exercise integrity and compassion for the common good. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Compassionate God, you have set before us the hope of a world made new. We pray for all who are afflicted, distressed or burdened in any way, and for those who are lonely and anxious. We pray for all who mourn for the loss of a loved one. Today we pray especially for Chris, Barbara, Lucy, Dennis, Martin, John and Mark. We continue to pray for all who are affected by coronavirus and for the key workers in hospitals, surgeries and test centres and those engaged in medical research. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. God of love, take to yourself all who have left this world. Be to them their light and salvation, and may they behold your face with joy. We pray especially for Kenneth Hope, who died recently, and for Sybil Hope and Arthur Blunt, whose year's mind occurs at this time. May they rest in peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant that through the prayers of our Blessed Lady, Saint Margaret, Saint Andrew and all your saints, we may be made members of your heavenly family. Help us to look up and raise our heads, for our redemption is drawing near. Open our hearts that the King of glory may come in. Amen. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high shall break upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. As the grain once scattered in the field, and the grapes once dispersed on the hillside, are now reunited on this table in bread and wine, so, Lord, may your whole church soon be gathered together from the corners of the earth into your kingdom. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with thee. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good to give you thanks and praise, Almighty God and Everlasting Father, through Jesus Christ your Son. For when he humbled himself to come among us in human flesh, he fulfilled the plan you formed before the foundation of the world to open for us the way of salvation. Confident that your promise will be fulfilled, we now watch for the day when Christ our Lord will come again in glory. And so we join our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven to proclaim your glory forever, praising you and singing. <laughs>
your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, and as we follow his example and obey his commands, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night as he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of death. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. Accept through him, our great High Priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our, our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Every time we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you. Feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
And also with you. The Lord our God, make us watchful and keep us faithful as we await the coming of your Son our Lord, that when he shall appear, he may not find us sleeping in sin, but active in his service and joyful in his praise. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you. Scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and, and all, all flesh, flesh shall, shall see it together. together. As we await our coming Saviour, go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.